Welcome to this visit to Mumbai or Bombay, India. Bombay is very well situated for its development. It not only has an excellent harbour, but it's on major trade routes on the Indian Ocean and the Persian Gulf. Consequently, the British East Indian Company bought the port in 1668 from the Portuguese. Here's a view of the original Bombay under the British India Company. Mumbai is located on the west coast of India. An excellent map showing the city in yellow. Bombay is actually on an island being uh, surrounded by Vasai Creek and Thane Creek. A satellite view of the island clearly showing Bombay. This is a, a Google map with the railway shown with yellow and red marks. The red marks are stations. I've been to Bombay three times. The first time in 1975 when I traveled around India for a month. The second time with my wife where we traveled India again for a month. And lastly in 1999 where I landed in Bombay for a short visit and a stopover on my way across Europe and Asia. The first time I visited Bombay I didn't really know what to expect. I'd read a lot about the British settlement of India and had looked at some of the early 19th century postcards which show all the British development. Let's take a look at a few. Bombay streets overlooking the harbour in a very early photograph. This postcard is labelled a public building, Bombay. More public buildings with a lovely British fountain. St. Thomas Cathedral in Bombay. This is Green's Restaurant, a popular British dining area. And a variety of postcards showing uh, famous public buildings in Bombay. More famous buildings. You notice that you don't see many people or many cars. It really doesn't give you a good idea of Bombay today with its population of nearly 20 million people. Government House Bombay in an early postcard. Well, we're coming in by plane in 1999. First thing you notice as you land is a considerable number of shacks surrounding the airport. The impression of modern Bombay is quite different than the postcards. Here's people drying laundry. The airport is uh, modern enough and quite good. My first trip with my wife ended the trip around India and we spent a fair bit of money to stay at one of the uh, best known hotels, the Taj. It's located right next to the gateway to India built by the British. The full name for the Taj is the Taj Mahal Palace and Tower. It's got an excellent website. The architecture combines Moorish uh, features with the arches and more traditional British uh, structures. I took this shot on my first visit to Bombay in 1975. However, I did stay in a backpacker's further down the street. An early postcard of the Taj Hotel.
It looks magnificent at night when it's lit up. When we checked in, I found it, that it's got a big uh, central square with a huge pool. And you can spend your time just sitting around the pool, drinking gin and tonics. You're totally cut off from the rest of India. The bedrooms, of course, were magnificent. One might like to think that uh, Bombay or Mumbai is the central business district with wealth and high-rise buildings, much like New York. There are sections of the city that could lead you to this impression. One of the tower buildings things do look modern. We uh, decided to see more of the real India by visiting Crawford Markets. There's a lovely old uh, watchtower and clock at the markets. Porters, and I'll just uh, go through a few photographs to give you the feel for the markets. This man is selling pigeons. We'll move on to the Prince of Wales Museum. I'm not quite sure how to say its new name. It may be a product of the indo saracenic style. Seems very popular with a lot of the British buildings built around the late 1800s and early 1900s, combining uh, Indian ideas with the uh, domes and arches of the Moorish uh, and Islam, along with uh, Victorian towers. In this model, I can certainly see the domes and the arches, and you can see the British towers at the front. It's got an excellent website and also loads of things to see. I'll just scan through a few things to give you a feel. It's time to move on and we stop at the street vendors. Let's take a look now at some of the people in Bombay. These two girls are brushing their teeth on the public street. Two Indian boys looking very happy. Buying fruit from vendors. The local people are often very happy to get their photos taken. Down at the uh, seashore. Let's take a look at some of the older postcards showing street scenes. Here there's no cars, there's only two options and someone cleaning the street with a broom. An early shot of one of the main streets in Mumbai. Another old street scene before the days of cars. A much more recent shot showing the crowding and heavy population density. Now a few recent pictures of Bombay streets, a typical street scene. These taxis are very popular. These are the uh, typical uh, Indian taxis. A scene showing the heavy population density. Things get very crowded. Now a view of the Hajji Ali Darga. It's a very well-known spot in Bombay. The Flora Fountain is quite famous. Here's shown in an early British postcard. It's